Sometimes it's just your lucky day and things go exactly right. And for others, it's not. And those are the people we're going to talk about next in Boating News of the Week. The first event to make our Boating News of the Week is when a cruise ship finally returns home. I wondered how long it would take, but it has happened. The coronavirus has hit the Broncos Guru channel on Boating News of the Week. This is the cruise ship, the Grand Princess, which has been held off the coast of California for several days while they tried to assess the situation as they had several cases, in fact 21, cases of coronavirus on board. The ship was finally allowed back into the port of Oakland, California this week with its 3,500 passengers. Basically right now they are quarantining all the U.S. citizens who are on here at military bases around the country and everyone else is catching planes back to their home countries. This is definitely not the way I would want an extended cruise. Our our second boating incident this week is going to come from the vessel the Sea Shepherd. The Sea Shepherd's located in the Gulf of California where they do everything they can to stop poachers from fishing on protected grounds. They do this to try and protect the home of the vaquitas where there's only less than a dozen of them left in the world. That's right, this porpoise has less than 12 remaining in the world. Basically, this vessel goes around, and when it catches poachers in the area, they will actually confiscate their nets. Well, a few poachers this past week were not too thrilled about this idea, and four Panga vessels tracked down the Sea Shepherd after they had taken their nets and began firing rifles at the boat. Everybody got away from this one okay, but still, that's a pretty scary scene. Our next boating incident this week features a man who is literally saved by a doggy paddle. That's right, his German Shepherd was doggy paddling in the ocean for almost 11 hours when some rescuers spotted the dog, mixed a bunch of bunch of debris just off the coast of Australia. The rescuers plucked the dog out of the water, but noticed that the debris he was swimming in was gas cans, a wetsuit, and several other items that would absolutely indicate there was a boat in distress, and they would be right. The dog's owner's boat had lost power and began to take on water. This did prompt a full rescue operation where the owner was found clinging onto his vessel and the dog and the owner were brought back together. Our next boating incident this week is going to feature some kayakers who were out just looking for a little fun and got a little more than they bargained for. These kayakers were kayaking on the Econ River down in Florida at dusk when they noticed an alligator off in the distance. There were several fish swimming around them so of course the alligator approached thinking it was going to get a little dinner. But they got a little more than they bargained for when the alligator itself started messing with the kayak, almost flipping it over. Instead of deciding they were going to battle this alligator in the water, they paddled to shore and decided they were going to take their chances on land. Unfortunately, they didn't know where they were, but they got lucky. They had a cell phone and rescuers were able to find them in the econ forest. Our next boating incident this week is going to remind us why we should always carry spare parts on the boat, including spare bilge pumps. Around 4 p.m. last week, this gentleman had to call the Lee County Sheriff's Office and let them know that he was in Charlotte Harbor and he was taking on water fast. His bilge pump had become inoperable and the boat itself was in big trouble. They dispatched their marine and aviation units out to help him and actually brought some spare parts. The Lee County Sheriff's Department actually got on this boat and installed a second bilge pump, got the water out, and got him back going. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you ever see anything crazy going on in your waterways or anything that is worthy of being on the Boating News of the Week, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and maybe you'll see your story over here as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button. If not, I'm coming to steal your drain plug.